morning. So today, um, we are going to plant out our three, well, one of our three sisters' gardens. We're going to do two. One is Gwenny's and Finn's. And the other one's going to be mine. I'll probably do that one this afternoon. Um, so, if you don't know what a three sisters garden is, it's a traditional uh, Native American style of garden where you plant basically corn, beans, and squash together or any variation thereof. So the corn is in the center and you plant the beans and the corn together and the corn acts as a trellis for the beans to grow on. Um, <clears throat> the beans fix nitrogen into the soil which helps the corn grow better. Um, corn provides support for the beans and the squash acts as kind of a, a cover for the ground so that uh, the soil doesn't get washed away. The vines kind of create that cover for it. And uh, also the corn provides some afternoon or morning shade depending on you know where it's situated for the squash so that it uh, it gets some protection from the summer sun so that's the traditional method and we're going to be trying it this year um, we soaked up our beans and whatnot so for Gwenny's garden she decided she wanted to grow uh, pink popcorn sorry if it's shaky a little bit this guy's kicking me Hopefully he'll go to sleep in a little bit. I can put him in his swing. Um, I have slippery silk beans. They're a red bean um, that you uh, let grow until they dry, which is preferable for Three Sisters Garden. That way you don't have to disrupt everything. Um, and I also have this one. I'll put the name of the beans in there. They're, they look really big, but they're actually a... Um, well, you can... You can dry them or, sorry about the kicking, you can dry them or you can pick them as the young beans. They're like a, a yellow, they almost look like a snow pea, kind of uh, wider, flatter bean. That you can pick when they're young and they're a pale yellow, they have pink flowers. So those are some that she picked. And then uh, we have some nasturtiums to plant in with those. I soaked those for a little bit too, hoping not too long. Um, so some nasturtiums. Nasturtiums uh, are good not only do they grow up the corn just like the beans do and um, they are a deterrent for uh, bugs that like to eat your beans. Probably squash too. So those are a good uh, companion plant for the beans and they also will grow up the corn and they look pretty. Um, on the outside, she wants to have watermelons, so we have a little um, pocket-sized watermelon. I think they're called a kudimi or something like that. Um, and we're gonna—I think we're gonna start those inside, and then when they get going, they have two leaves on them. We'll put them out on the corners. Um, she's got her herbs started already. We need to separate those today. So, I'm just going to set this up and you can watch us try to plant uh, their little three sisters garden. I'm going to let them help because it's theirs. Um, actually, they'll probably do most of it, so it ought to be interesting. Um, I've set theirs up so that it's not a solid block. It's going to have a path through it so that they can uh, walk through the middle and pick their pickable young beans. And also, I'm sure they'll want to walk through it anyway, so I figure I might as well give them a designated spot to uh, walk through their corn. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to do this morning. I won't say today because we have a lot of other things to do today. I need to plant my patch, which is going to be over there. And then we have lots of things to put in. I need to plant my squash today. It's a little bit early, not terribly early. Uh, today is actually our official average last frost date. Um, but 
April so far has been unseasonably warm and they are predicting that it's supposed to continue that way. So I'm just going for it. I planted out some tomatoes yesterday and my cucumbers and um, the temperatures are supposed to be in the 60s and 70s for the next week and a half or so. I don't anticipate them getting colder after that. Uh, probably about the same if not a little bit warmer. So it's not supposed to drop below 45 and most of the nights are supposed to be in the 50s so it's a good time to get everything growing and everything is doing really good and really happy i've got lots of radishes popping up and potatoes and kale and cucumbers like i said i put the tomatoes out yesterday and i'm gonna be planting more beans and more uh squash today i gotta get my flower patch all tilled up so hopefully I'll get that done later when the sun comes out a bit more um, yeah let's get to it so I uh, quickly wanted to say that um, for their patch because I want to let them do it themselves what I'm going to do is I have this board because you don't really want to walk on the soil after you've raked it all up and I'm gonna take a piece of chalk and mark every foot on the board every one foot um, that way it's easy for uh, Gwenny to see where she needs to dig a hole because you want the plants to be about one foot apart so that leaves kind of six inches on each side for the plants you want them to be nice and close together um, for better pollination because corn is a wind pollinated plant so you want them to be close enough together but not too far apart so I'm gonna get a ruler and I'm gonna have her mark every foot so that she knows how far apart to dig her hole But she still wants to put the beans in. So I'm going to finish digging all the holes so that they get roughly evenly spaced. And uh, then I'll let the kids put the seeds in the holes and cover it back up. of 75 seeds but we had we use 72 and there's a lot left over I don't even know how many so we're gonna dry those out and put them back in their seed packet and save them and if any spots look like they're not germinating I'm shaking it sorry anyway so that's all done and it rained last night so we don't really need to water it I don't think and uh, yeah now we got some other stuff to do